With the newfound shadow boxing trend on Roblox, I thought it would be a good idea for me to make a tutorial series for you guys so you guys can make your own shadow box game on Roblox. Please keep in mind this is only the first episode and the kit isn't fully completed yet. Anyways, let's get on to the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you boot up a new studio, you want to download the shadow boxing kit that will be linked in the description of this video. It will have everything you need. Um, like I said, it's not done yet, but every time I make an update, there will be a video and I will update the kit so you guys have it already um, accessible. So the first thing you need to do, go ahead and get that model in the description. You're going to go to Toolbox, My Models, and Shadow Boxing Kit. You're going to click OK. And you could drag this wherever you like. I guess right here would be good. doesn't really matter. And um, basically, it's pretty simple to set up. When you insert it into Workspace, there will be a folder, Shadow Box Kit. Then you'll have replicated storage, server script storage, and workspace. Um, take everything inside of these and put it inside of the designated service that the parent folder says. So ring will go inside of workspace. Oops, not camera. Workspace. You can delete that folder. Events scripts will go inside of server script service. And the events folder will go inside of replicated storage. And now when you hit play, you can see that it now works so there's a join button when you walk up to the stairs on one of these posts and you have a leave button this works um it does work with two players you guys can go ahead and test it out with two players if you'd like i'm not going to do that but i promise you it works so um it's pretty much shut up and good to go but if you guys want to make like some decorations or anything i'm gonna show you guys how to you guys i'm gonna show you guys how you can do that now um keep everything named the same don't, the only things I wouldn't touch are these two folders. Don't touch spawn points and don't touch players in ring. The only thing I would touch in spawn points is if you want to move where the players spawn in. So like this is the player one spawn point and this is player two. Um, if you guys want to change where those are located, you guys can do that. But I would just leave them how they are. And don't touch anything in here. But uh, the folder strings, these are just like the strings of the ring. You guys can go in, change if you want to change the color do the rope constraint and then change the color of it and you can see you guys can make this like white and red blue and red whatever you want and um make it to your liking but keep all these posts the same name uh not the same name just there's one that needs to be named join part and then what this holds is the attachment for the proximity prompt um so name if you're going to change these like posts to, like cylinders or something or make your own custom posts make sure one of them is named join part and it has an attachment that holds the proximity prompt for them to join the game. Canvas, uh, keep uh, named Canvas. You guys can change the color of it to whatever you want. You can decorate it some more. Just keep a part named Canvas. This is what holds the uh, UI up here. And then the last thing is the actual leave UI. Uh, if you want to decorate it, you can. It's uh, right here. You guys can change the background color. Um, I have a UI stroke on it so you guys can change that to a different color you guys can mess with that however you want just keep it name text button keep this keep it name leave UI and then the handler script you need and then put it back inside of the ring model when you're done with it but that's how you set up the kit for what I have now like I said I don't have the actual game part set up yet um, where you like have to choose which way you want to go which direction that will come in the next episode and if you guys have anything else you want me to add like finishers down the line uh leave it in the comments below and i will um try my best to get to all of them so that's pretty much it for today's video make sure you leave a like and subscribe on your way out like i said any suggestions leave them in the comments i have a discord server that i would love for if you guys can join that and leave your suggestions in there as well i check that more than i check my comments so if you want priority response, I suggest joining that server. And that's pretty much it for today's video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.